what is going on and welcome on into another video this is uh my number one short game video on the three best shots that you're gonna need to get close to the hole to get up and down to pretty much save a lot of strokes in the end so you definitely don't want to miss it all i ask in return for these videos is you like and subscribe later uh either later today or tomorrow my number one tips video for the actual swing the tempo and uh, how to just be a lot more consistent that will go out later later either later today or, or early tomorrow so you're definitely not going to want to miss that so make sure you like and subscribe let's dive right into the three best shots that you need for around the greens uh and the bunkers the first up um just note they they preset your your club to pitch um and the pitch i don't personally think is the best option simply because it runs on so much um you can do the spinner which is pretty good as well um so you, let's go through the options that you have you have the pitch you have the texas wedge you have the chip the flop the runner and the spinner now you can see here like you see how the shadow where the arc is um that kind of gets that's kind of like your miss zone Right, so like the pitch has a very small miss zone, the flop has a bigger miss zone, the runner has a bigger miss, a uh, smaller miss zone, the spinner has a pretty pretty low miss zone as well. Now the problem with a lot of these are is they they only can go like the spinner you only can hit so far, right? The pitch shot you can actually hit pretty close, um, but just know if you hit this pitch shot right, it's gonna run on, it's gonna run on a little bit. Um, what I like the best right now um, are two shots, right? So the first one I'm gonna cover is the flop shot. I think that right now is the number one around the greens. Um, it is really good. You can pretty much put it wherever you need to put it, 60 degree, you can go up to 55 degree, um, and you just gotta put your mark pretty much right around the hole. You don't even have to just put it right around the hole and you can pretty much hit your shot and the ball is going to stop pretty instantly. See how, see how I just stopped pretty instantly? I was a little underswing there, but it just stops on a dime like that. So we'll go back to it. So the pitch shot, I mean the flop shot right now, I think number one is hands down the best shot to be using around the greens. It is pretty consistent. And you can get pretty close within chipping range. And if you don't underswing it, like I just underswung it a couple times, I mean, still my underswings are, are pretty much right there whole high. But if you don't underswing it, you can get it very close. So I think right now the flop shot um, is number one shot. And obviously you can, you like I said, if you want to hit the 50 flop shot, you can hit the 50 flop shot. You pull it all the way back, put it right there. I was a little offline there but you can see we're still five feet to get up and down and just note how am i practicing all this stuff you can do all of this practice right here just go to the pga coaches skills trainer and your challenges there's an around the greens challenge section and you can do it all right here now i'm doing the challenge one right now and just testing some things out but there are other options. So there's this little more difficult chip. Uh, obviously there's a, a flop shot test, but I would not recommend using this. Um, I don't know what the creators did if they ever played this challenge, but they put a rock right in your way. So it's definitely something that somebody needs to fix. You can't see your backswing because there's a rock right in the way you have to change your angle. So don't use that one. Um, but let's go into the second the second one that I highly recommend, which is actually the one that I use more than the flop shot, because I think the miss zone is a lot smaller uh, and it's a lot more consistent. So that is actually not gonna be the pitch shot. It is going to be the chip shot, right? And you just preset to a seven iron. I don't, I don't really know why, probably because they want you to bump and run it. But if you just switch to a 60 degree, um, then that won't roll out as much. Just note the, the more, the, the lower you go on your on your wedge on your your degrees the more the ball is going to roll out so if i hit this seven iron you'll see here right so like i'll hit this seven iron 
I'm gonna make it. <laughs> uh, but if I didn't hit that hole, you could see it would have just kept on going. But if you switch to something like the 60 degree, and and just note, like I know there there is like this little issue. Obviously, this game does have a little bit of issues, but hopefully the creators see this. Um, the colors of my chip, it's normally gold, but it changes. So this shot's gonna roll out slightly. Um, not too much because it is a 60 degree, but it's pretty consistent and you just you don't have to pull the stick back very far And it just rolls out and it sits up right next to the hole This is the one that I've been using the most for two reasons one um, Since it's on the ground and rolling you can read this like a putt and you can pretty much chip this in if you if you get your start lines correct And even on your miss hits, you're still right there around the hole. Like I was 8% eight, 8 under swing there. Um, and I was still right there around the hole. And I'll hit one more for you. And like I said, here I'll show you. Like if you hit the 7 iron, like obviously it's going to run out a lot more. And that's why you want to make sure. See, it's, it's just going to run out a lot more. So if you have a long area to run it, then maybe, uh, probably it could be a good option for you. But I just always... Default, if you just, if you pop up here, you hit R2, um, 60 degree wedge, and then you just gotta hit a little, hit a little pop, a little pop stroke. Oh, I was way offline there. But even on my offline, you can see here, uh, two feet. That's pretty much a tap. So those right now are the two best around the green shot. If you can't get it low and running, can't do anything about this gang music, but if you keep it low and running, the chip shot is highly recommended, the number one. And then secondly, if you just want something that's gonna stop right next to the hole, um, the flop shot is, is the other one. Out of the bunkers, let's go into the bunkers. So if you go to challenge four, you could hit bunker shots. There's two different shot types that you really wanna get. You don't get it right away, but the pick shot actually is the best bunker shot to use. Why? Because it's very similar to the flop shot. Um, you can see here, I'll use the blast right now, right? And you'll watch how much this blast shot runs out. Hit the blast shot. Look how much it runs out, right? You can't get that to stop close to the hole. Um, it's a much more difficult shot. And I mean, it's good if you have something that is going uphill maybe, and you can run it up the hill. But if you just use the pick shot, watch how quickly you can stop this on a dime. Right? That's that's much better. Much better, much easier, much more consistent. You can get up and down from these bunkers. Um, and just note, like, you don't have the pick shot right away. You have to add skill points to it. Um, so make sure you add your skill points early and often to get the pick shot. You add it early and often to make sure you get a very high chip and a very high flop shot. Um, I think those three right now are hands down the best shots around the green to save you strokes, uh, to get you up and down for birdies, aim for the bunkers, because with this pick shot, it's it's super simple. Um, and I think a lot of a lot of people will shoot a lot of better scores if they if they just focus on these shots here. So I hope that helps. Let me know if there's a shot that you're using. And that just because I use these doesn't mean I'm right all the time. Um, it doesn't mean I'm wrong all the time. But these are the ones that I found to be the most successful and I've been playing pretty well lately. So let me know down if you found something else that maybe I don't know and I can test it out for you all. Also, uh, stay tuned for more videos to come. And you guys know the drill. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.